Hi everyone. So for this practice problem, we want to locate um, the local minima or maxima for um, this function using the first derivative test. So with the first derivative test, the first thing we want to do is find the critical points. And the critical points occur where the derivative equals zero or is undefined. Um, since t of x is a polynomial, um, the derivative of t of x is also a polynomial, and therefore the derivative will always be defined. So we're really just looking for where the derivative equals zero. So let's find the derivative. I'm going to drop down that 3, drop down the 2, and it will cancel with that 2 in the denominator. And we have this as our first derivative. We'll set it equal to 0, and we want to solve for x. So I'm going to start by factoring out a ni negative 9. And we will get this. Um, I'm going to keep factoring that trinomial, and we will get x plus 5 and x plus 2, giving us critical values at negative 5 and negative 2. So we want to determine if these critical values will give us a local min or a local max. It's not guaranteed. You can have critical values that are not local extrema. Um, so we need to do a sign chart. So we're going to test values below negative 5, between negative 5 and 2, and then above negative 2. Um, so I'm going to pick any value. It does not matter which one you pick, but I'm going to pick a value below negative 5. So I'm going to pick negative 6. And we're going to put negative 6 into the derivative function and see if we get a positive or a negative value. We don't really care what the exact value is. We just want to know if it's positive or negative. So I'm going to use the factored form of the derivative. And I just want to see if I get a negative or positive value. So um, this negative 9 will always be negative 9. It's always going to be negative. Negative 6 plus 5 is going to give us a negative value. And negative 6 plus 2 is going to give us another negative value. And so overall, um, the derivative at negative 6 is going to be a negative value. Um, now let's test a number between negative 5 and 2. I'll pick negative 3. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to substitute in negative 3. And again, we only care whether this is positive or negative. So negative 9, always negative. Negative 3 plus 5 is a positive value. Negative 3 plus 2 is a negative value. Two negatives and a positive will give us a positive output, which means that we have a positive number here. We had a negative output over here. Um, and then I'm going to pick a value greater than negative 2. I like to pick 0 if I can. It uh, makes the calculation very easy. Uh, so we've got negative 9, 0 plus 5, and 0 plus 2. So we will have a negative 9 is always negative, positive 5, and a positive 2. And therefore we'll have an overall negative um, output here. So now looking at our sign chart, um, so on the values below 5, the function is decreasing. And then after 5, the functions are increasing. Therefore, negative 5 is a local min. Um, again, uh, after negative 5, I just don't know why my screen just did that. After negative 5, we are increasing. Um, and after 2, we are decreasing, meaning that we have a local max at, I'm going to say x equal to negative 2. Let me make, let me write this better. And there are answers.